Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to yet another episode of Borderlands 2. With me, Skywalker, we're still doing the Torg DLC, the Campaign of Carnage. And we're right now, I've got this screen up because we need to do Battle Appetite for Destruction, Survive the Appetite for Destruction. And our rewards are going to be five Torg tokens. Uh, this is a story mission. And we're going to get around 2,500 XP around that. Uh, I think last episode is the episode we started this particular. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. it looks like our next combatant has arrived. Does the Vault Hunter have what it takes to survive the appetite for destruction round? I think we all know the answer. Maybe. The rules are simple: use the provided loot and kill everybody. The last fighter standing is a bona fide badass. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start. Like I was saying, we just started this DLC. This is the very beginning. Oh, nice. We can reopen this chest. I don't even know if we opened this last episode. What do we got? Easy bang stick, explosive torque weapon. I am full. So we just started this. We're going to get a a move on in just a second. Let me, uh... Put my ammo. Let's sell whatever it is I don't want to keep. I don't even remember what the heck I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. Um... Final Kuchkin. Keeping that. Keeping that. Um, what am I... What do I have equipped? It's been so long. How you guys been? I've been, uh, lazing around my house getting drunk every day playing video games on my PS3. I, I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos in so long. I'm going to try to get on that this week. Um, I picked up reading again, which is nice. And do some art. I think I just got so tired of slaying on my bed playing PS3 for so long. I figured I need to do something. With Dark Striker, which is a shotgun. I've got something Thunder Fist, which is electricity. I've got... Alright, 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 I see, I see it now. Alright, so let's sell some stuff real quick. Wow, it takes two. Selling it. Selling it. Selling it. Selling it. Selling it. What is that? Steady selling it. Selling a lot of stuff. Okay, let's head on in there. This is one of the first quests. We're at the Torg Arena. Let's head on inside. Woo! There's a leaderboard back there. We can't read it just quite yet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The Horde of Horrors versus the Vault Hunter. All right, so what we have here is pretty much a basic couple round arena battle. So we're going to handle these guys the best we can. Round down. Where is that damn thing at? These guys are crazy. Torque engineers, they like. <laughs> They can crush the ground and do like a shockwave move. They can also fire rockets and I think a flamethrower. Uh, 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 uh. Burn, burn. Shot him right out of here. Bikers. 
Holy crap! Are you still fighting these idiots? You're gonna have to pick up the pace if you want to be Pistons' partner. All right, second wave down. We're cruising on in wave three. Got some iridium. I'm at 20 iridium. Uh -oh. Challenge right there. I couldn't even catch it. I'm trying to pay attention. This is another engineer. <laughs> and he can throw barrels. I forgot about that part. <laughs> you know what, guys? Something interesting I heard on YouTube is they're coming out with another DLC. I can't wait for that. That's one on top of Tiny Tegan's uh, Dragon's Keep, Assault on Dragon Keep. Bunkers and badass and whatnot. I can't wait to play it. Hopefully they'll come out with another character. That'd be totally awesome. I'd enjoy that as well. Defense is a lot of offense, but sometimes the bad guys end up attacking your turret, which takes the gunfire off you, which is really nice. So I think, dis I think distraction was the word I was looking for, not defense. So we're now number five in the leaderboards, and this is the leaderboard you can find throughout the Torque DLC. Kind of interesting. I enjoy it myself. It adds a little touch to, to the whole uh, competition feel of this particular DLC. There's us, Vault Hunter, on five. We'll be systematically finding uh, each one of these guys in the future. Slot four, three, two, and one, but that comes later. For now, I guess Piston has a nice prize for us now that we've uh, handled the horde of horrors. So let's check it out. Survive the appetite for destruction event by defeating the horde of horrors. You've survived the appetite for destruction and are now the fifth biggest badass in the tournament. Your sponsor Piston rewarded your hard work with a weapon chest. <laughs> I'm not gonna share the false prize with some no-name mercenary. I'm the greatest fighter who ever lived. I will open the vault myself. And you? Well, get the hell out of my arena. Uh -oh. That noise you're hearing is the arena filling up with hard, strong gas. I've turned off the cameras. Just breathe deep and pass out like a good little coward. So we have been betrayed. No gift and the place has been gassed. Somebody dragged the vault underway! I have no idea what is going on! 
All right, so we've woken up in some place. Oh, it's, apparently we're not the only bodies dumped down here. We got a couple of dead guys. All right. So our objective right now, we're doing the quest called Burn Baby Burn, and it says we gotta leave the arena. So we're somewhere in the arena still. What is this? Oh, that's just ammo. We're in the arena still. We gotta find a way out. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I can. I gained a level. Let's go ahead and put a perk point in. I am doing the middle tree. Um, besides, of course, sentry because it ups my turret. For for myself and the audience, because I've never done, I've never done the middle tree before. So what, what do we got now? We got duty calls, which increases damage and fire rate of non-elemental guns, or we can do do or die. Which allows you to throw grenades while in fight for your life. Also increases your grenade damage and rocket launcher damage. Wow. I think I will take do or die. Let's see. Increase the damage and fire rate of non elemental Ooh, wow. Fire rate. But that's only of non-elemental guns. I'm going to take do or die for now. Here's a look ahead. We're, we're going to be working our way towards Ranger, which makes you better at just about everything. As you can see below... It says gun damage, accuracy, critical hit damage, fire rate, magazine size, reload speed, maximum health. So that that is a ranger, so that boosts various things. And then nuke, which is the ultimate gift of the gunpowder, the, the top tier. Well, in this case, it's the bottom tier. You work your way down at the tree. Uh, nuke, deploying your saber turret, sets off a small nuclear blast. You know, later I might end up changing my skills, because... I've already gone through a lot of the game with this, and I'm not really liking this particular tier. I will say that Metal Storm is a must for many characters. And uh, some people like the Longbow Turret. It kind of throws me off. I'm usually used to throwing a t uh, the turret kind of like a grenade, but it only goes half as far. But the Longbow, it'll go straight. It's like a bullet, practically. Wherever your crosshair is, it'll go straight. It'll teleport. And I don't need the extra turret health. I'll probably consider going a little bit of survival. So I can get the shields going. And then probably a lot of Scorched Earth. So I can maybe double up the guns. Who knows? Who knows? Um, let's get back into our game. We're going to escape the arena. Let's find a way out of here. I'm still digging the music. Mince me to these guys. Burn to death. Alright, there's the exit up there. I guess we gotta jump up, but for now, let's check out this weapons chest or loot chest. Britva Pushka and Zook's Rocker Hell. I like the one I have better simply because it's got the plus 120% critical hit damage. And that's the only kind of sniper rifle I like to carry, the ones with the uh, bonus critical hit damage. Here we go. So what do you guys think about this deal so far? Let me know. Post it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. If you got anything to say about anything at all, post it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I used to check daily, but I don't have such a big fan base, so I don't check what as often. The hell? Ladies and gentlemen, the Vault Hunter has disappeared from the arena. I don't know where the f*** did he go? Let me educate you, Talk. The Vault Hunter ran away. They found out they'd have to fight me, Piston, to become the number one badass on Pandora. And they ran away, like a little baby. Ran away? This is a travesty! I've got no choice. As the head of the tour tournament, I must officially dub the Vault Hunter a coward! Uh-oh, that doesn't sound too good. 
I don't know what we're going to do now. Okay, it's straight up dog time. I know you ain't actually a coward, but f*** that twist and it didn't make for some good TV. Still, you're going to need a new sponsor if you want to stay in the tournament. Get to the beatdown. Alright, so we gotta head ourselves to the beat down. I am gonna see if there's some optional quests going on before we do the main quest. But let's get ourselves a bandit technical. I'm gonna choose a skin. I like the saw blade for now. Uh, let's see. We got a lot of here. Nova Star, I like. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, Nova Star looks good. Alright. There was a place where you could pick up optional quests. I'm not sure if now is the time, but I am going to check just in case. Woo! It's not looking like it. I guess we have to progress in the main quest line before we, uh... Yeah, that's the spot right there. You can pick up optional quests from this spot right here later on in the game. For now, I guess we gotta continue on with Burn Baby Dern. Burn, baby, burn, uh, which means we gotta reach the beatdown. Since I've just restarted this game or continued, I'm pretty sure we can go back behind this and get some some loot. So let's do that before we head down to the beatdown, and maybe we'll handle these guys while they're bothering me. Stop shooting at my car, fellas. Present for you. These guys are relentless. These guys can take a beating, those fat guys. Like a whole clip. doing by my car. He's like pissing on my tire or something. Let me see some Iridium, fella. Aw, oh, nothing. That's one of my pet peeves in this game. If you get a badass who drops nothing, good lord, they gotta patch that. I think every badass should have a very low percentage of not dropping loot. Because they're, they're tough. They're like one of the toughest in the game. Save all items. Or not. See, I can empty a whole clip in this guy He's still walking. It's working for us. Like that? Okie dokie, so we're going to grab this loot from behind this, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but last episode, behind this advertisement up here, we can grab a chest, and since I have exited the game and re, you know, continued, it should be refulled, so that's a second chance to get some good loot, and I'll take you guys to the second one, which will be, uh, one of a two-part challenge. <laughs> One of, like I said, one of a two-part challenge, which will get you some badass rank. All you gotta do is open but two chests. The one I just opened and the one we're heading to now. So let's, let me hightail it over there. I'm around the 20-minute mark, and then I will show you guys the entrance to the beatdown. And we'll be doing that next episode. One of the new vehicles that you get to see, you don't get to drive, unfortunately, in this particular DLC. You'll see, we'll get to see, actually, is choppers. They'll have guys running around, riding around on motorcycles, doing everything they can to stop you. 
and uh, they look like fun. I wish they would have introduced them to the game. There is another DLC coming out, so we can all keep our fingers crossed on what kind of vehicle they will let us do. Maybe it's a buzzard, you know? I've been waiting for the buzzards to come out. I've been a Borderlands fan for a couple years now. Alright, so the other chest is right over here. We're gonna tightrope walk it over there and then see what is inside. There it is, as advertised. Four. We got four best rank. We got a purple. Why not? I'll take that. Wait, wait. My grenade's at 2010 times six. It's a bigger blast radius. Why not? I'm seeing nothing but greens. We'll take it. Cool. Some shields. Some shields. Alright, so there you have that. Alright, so this is going to be the beatdown in here. A lot of tagging out here. Bandit scum. So this is the beatdown, or the entrance to the beatdown. It's like some kind of big refinery. We will be doing this next episode. I'm assuming what I want to do right now is head on inside. Because there is a fast travel station. That way it'll be easier for me to reach the spot where I'm going to be recording next. As you can see, we got another Torg machine out here. Ammo, some health, bad rendering. Come on, render. Loading screens. Dun 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 dun. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Hey, that's a PlayStation 3 favorite, apparently. That song I just sung. All right, guys. So here's our fast travel station on the left. We'll be picking this back up next episode. Since we've reached the beat beat down, there's some guys back there. Uh, we'll be heading out uh, to, to rescue a sponsor, I think, because Piston has betrayed us and we need to get a new sponsor in order to end the tournament or, or continue in the tournament. So with that being said, I guess I will see you guys next time. This has been Skywalker, and I'll check you all later.